Dear friends, this is the Utah Beach Landing Museum area in Normandy, France. Utah, commonly known as Utah Beach, was the code name for one of the five sectors of the Allied invasion of German-occupied France in the Normandy landings on June 6, 1944, the D-Day, during World War II. Amphibious landings at Utah were undertaken by United States Army troops, with sea transport, mine sweeping, and a naval bombardment force provided by the United States Navy and Coast Guard as well as elements from the British, Dutch, and other Allied navies. This assault, primarily by the U.S. 4th Infantry Division and 70th Tank Battalion, was supported by airborne landings of the 82nd and 101st Airborne Division. The intention was to rapidly seal off the Cottonton Peninsula, prevent the Germans from reinforcing Cherbourg, and capture the port as quickly as possible. Utah Beach was the first beach to be stormed by the Allies on the morning of 6 June 1944. At the end of the day, more than 23,000 American soldiers landed to fight a titanic battle and liberate France. Airborne troops arriving by parachute and glider numbered an additional 14,000 men. The Utah Beach Landing Museum and other monuments in the area preserves the memory of these men. You can also see and enter some of the bunkers built by the Germans in this area. So, dear friends, while inviting all of you to see the sacrifices made by heroic soldiers at Utah Beach to liberate France, I will end my explanation here. I will see you soon in another video on Beauty of the World.